want, Kenobi. You're my only hope. When beauty meets the bad guy, sparks may fly, but not always in a good way. Let her go. No, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie damsels in distress. You think I'm pretty? I think you're beautiful. For this list, we've looked at any female character that's placed in danger and needs a hero to save her. However, if she doesn't manage to get herself saved, then she's disqualified. Also, it's live action only, so no animated gals. The sirens are close now. She'll be safe. Number 10, Nancy Callahan, Sin City. An old man dies. A little girl lives. Fair trade. Bruce Willis's John Hartigan isn't the stereotypical guardian angel, but Nancy Callahan is sure lucky to have him. No, let me stay close. Nothing can happen to me when I'm with you. Played as an adult by Jessica Alba, she owes her life to Hardigan, and she lives it rather exotically. Here I was expecting a skinny little bookworm. Alba is a mixture of cute and cutthroat. Whatever you say, Hardigan, let me throw some clothes on. She has butter wouldn't melt eyes and a fiery flip side. You're pathetic. After a more than tough childhood, distress is camped upon her doorstep. She grew up, she filled out. She's damsel number 10. I didn't scream. I know it, baby. You grew up strong. <laughs> number nine, Debbie Edwards, The Searchers. You won't make a sound to come back no matter what you hear. Promise. I promise. The youngest damsel to make our list, Debbie suffers distress that is cruelly drawn out. After she's kidnapped by Comanche Indians as a child, the responsibility for her rescue falls largely on the shoulders of John Wayne. Me, I'm going on alone. Any objections? He's a capable cowboy, we all know that. But searching for Debbie is no easy task and it turns into a five-year mission. Don't believe in surrenders. By the time she's found, she's a young woman and a whole different person. Oh, don't you remember me, Debbie? I remember. You didn't come. But I've come now, Debbie. Number eight, Kim Mills, Taken. Oh my God, they got Amanda. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Kim <laughs> Maggie Grace plays out parental nightmares in this movie, and she sends Liam Neeson on a Parisian manhunt. I think they're coming. Kim Mills had hoped to be a YouTube groupie, but instead was kidnapped on her very first night in Europe. You have a 96 hour window from the time she was grabbed. To what? To never finding her. From that point on, the audience, like her father, sees nothing of her. The very definition of youthful vulnerability. We're with Neeson. Whoever you are, let her go or else. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Number seven, Marisol, a fistful of dollars. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. As the man with no name, Clint Eastwood arrives in San Miguel and quickly assumes the role of Marisol's protector. Sorry, when a husband finds a man in his wife's bedroom, you're never sure how he's gonna react. She's held hostage by the Rojo brothers. She's the brunette beauty on the arm of a gangster. Until Eastwood, hers was the life of a captive. With him, there is hope. <laughs> the second woman from the Wild West to make our list, Marisol is proof that you should talk to strangers. Why do you do this for us? Why? I knew someone like you once. There was no one there to help. Now get moving. God, look up there! Number six, Lois Lane, the Superman franchise. Easy, miss. I've got you. you you've got me? Who's got you? One of our more famous damsels, Lois Lane has to manage her distress at super levels. She's the Daily Planet's pinup girl, Smile. a top journalist and a very attractive lady. She makes Superman feel almost human. She's the Man of Steel's weak spot. Are you okay? Though getting saved is a regular thing for her, she's no pushover. <laughs> 
Shakespeare said, Frailty, thy name is woman. But for Superman, perfection, thy name is Lois. You know my aunt, Richard. He's a pilot. He takes me up all the time. I like this. All right! Oh, I broke a nail. Number five, Wilhelmina Willie Scott, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. You could get killed chasing after your damn fortune and glory. Maybe. But not today. When you're stuck inside a Temple of Doom, perhaps distress doesn't quite cut it. Indiana, help us. Whatever level of dismay this damsel felt, however, it might partially have been worth it for this top five position. Kate Capshaw, as the all-singing, all-dancing Wilhelmina Scott, has an attitude for show business and an aptitude for sticky situations. Where's my gun? I hurt my fingers and I cracked a nail! Spoiled but strong, this lady is always up for an adventure. And while Indy may be her hero, the director's her desire. Capshaw married Steven Spielberg seven years after this film was released. <laughs> Number four, Princess Leia Organa, Star Wars The Original Trilogy. A little short for a stormtrooper. She's certainly a damsel, and at times she's in distress. But there's more to our next character than sex appeal and scary situations. What the hell are you doing? Somebody has to save our skins. Princess Leia is part Jedi, part revolutionary, part sister and mother. A princess of Alderaan, an Imperial Senate member, and a rebel spy. She's an intergalactic girl who can really bring it home. What the? Yeah! However, even the strongest ladies are in need of assistance sometimes. Oh. Especially when enslaved and practically declothed by Jabba the Hutt. Oh, I can't bear to watch. And Luke and Han are her heroes on call. Yeah, get out that way. Looks like you managed to cut off her only escape route. Maybe you'd like it back in your cell, your highness. Despite Humperdinck's reassurance that she would grow to love him, the only joy she found was in a daily ride. Number three, Princess Buttercup, The Princess Bride. There is nothing nearby, not for miles. Then there will be no one to hear you scream. This fairy tale female has let down her golden hair and climbed onto our podium. In that case, I challenge you to a battle of wits. For the princess? To the death? I accept. A lady of esteemed heritage, she finds herself in a royal mix-up as her dream of a wedding to the charming Wesley is hijacked, leaving her with the ghastly Prince Humperdinck. But they would have killed Wesley if I hadn't done it. Buttercup is the blonde beauty straight out of a storybook. She's wanted by all men, but cherished by only one. I told you I would always come for you. Despite her glowing features, though, she is but third in line to our throne. Doesn't matter. Wesley will come for me anyway. You're a silly girl. We are who we choose to be. <laughs> Shoot! Number two, Mary Jane Watson, the Spider-Man franchise. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is a little more than friendly with one neighbor in particular. You have a knack for getting in trouble. <laughs> you have a knack for saving my life. As Peter Parker, he can't stop thinking about her. As Spidey, he can't stop saving her. Kirsten Dunst is MJ, the soft-spoken, clean-cut darling of New York. Her character is timeless, she's often found defenseless, she's practically faultless. Don't make me look ugly. Plus, she's just the right level of oblivious to keep the web slinger's secret safe. For now. He saved my life twice, and I've never even seen his face. You don't really need spidey senses. This lady leaves everyone tingling. I think I have a superhero stalker. I was in the neighborhood. Before we rescue our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. <laughs> Darrow, King Kong. 
played by Faye Ray in the original and Naomi Watts in the 2005 remake. And Daryl is our undisputed damsel in distress. In desperate need of work, this actress travels to the far-off Skull Island for a dangerous film shoot with the promise of adventure. Nervous? No. Why? Should I be? Things don't go as planned when the natives capture her as a sacrifice to the mysterious Kong. And what ensues is a legendary story about love, loss, and loneliness. As pure and pretty as it seems possible to be, Anne Darrow is just too beautiful, even for the beast. Agree with our list? Wouldn't you agree, Your Highness? Which damsel did we miss? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! For more titillating top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Bye, Jack. Punk.